In the last video, we set up our text edit, created this document, and we're able to open it within an internet browser. In this next lesson, lesson two, we are going to go over CSS inline, internal, and external. Let's start with inline. Say we want to change welcome to the home page to be red. We're going to change this specific H1 that I just highlighted. So within this element, we're going to go to H1, directly after it, before the right arrow, we're going to do space style equals, and then we're going to change the color to red. So quotation or double quote color, because that is the property that we're changing or styling, colon, and then red. Red is the value that we want this property color to be. Semicolon will close off that property and value and then close the quote. Be careful when using text edit to make sure that when you right click going down to substitutions, make sure smart quotes is not clicked. If it is selected, the quotes will be read as a text and you do not want that. So make sure that's unselected. Save the file and refresh your document and you'll see that welcome to the home page changes to the color red. A benefit to inline styling is that it only changes this one particular H1. It's not going to change another H1. So if we had H1 and we said, go ahead and save this, refresh the page, and you can see that this second H1 was not changed to red. That's because with inline, you're changing the specific element where you type the style at. So let's move on to internal. Go ahead and delete the styling so that your first heading no longer appears as red. Internal styling occurs within the head. So under the title, we're going to type style inside of a left arrow, right arrow. And then again, we're going to close that with forward slash style, right arrow. And this is where we're going to change H1. So type H1, and in this case, H1 is our selector. Then we're going to say color, because color is our property that we're changing. And then the value that we want color to be is red. So our declaration is within curly brackets. So an opening curly bracket, the property, the value, a semicolon, and then a closed curly bracket. So now what this is doing, it's saying within the head that we want H1 that we want the color of H1 to be red. And this is different from inline because it is going to change all of the H1 elements. So it's not only going to change welcome to the home page, but it's also going to change what you will learn. Save this, refresh, and you can see that those two elements change to red. However, if we were to enter inline code again and change H1 to be instead of red, let's do green because green is another previously defined color. You're going to see that inline code takes precedence over internal code. So even though this is saying that H1s should be red, we are individually changing this H1 to be green. So the first H1 will appear as green because it takes precedence over the internal H1 code. Saving the document, refreshing, you can see welcome to the home page was green, whereas the rest of the H1 elements were red. Let's go ahead and get rid of all the code to style and color. So revert this back to just H1. 
and we'll erase this style. Save, refresh, and you'll see that everything is back to its original format. We went over inline, we went over internal, and now we're going to go over external. And it's exactly like it sounds. External is in a separate document or a separate sheet. So we're going to go to File, New Text Edit, and this is where I'm going to go over color again. So I'm going to type my selector, H1, open curly bracket, and I'm going to say color, red, semicolon, and then close it with a curly bracket. We're going to save this file, but it's not going to be an HTML file. This file, we're going to name style1, and it's going to be a CSS file, so .css. Make sure that you unclick, if no extension is provided, use .text, because we want our extension to be .css. And then we're going to save. Just as you wrote the internal code within the head, we are going to link the external document within the head. So underneath title, we're going to say link, and then REL, which stands for the relationship. And the relationship is that it's a style sheet. So type style sheet, all one word, within quotations, space, and now we're going to do href equals, and that's the URL or the destination of the file. So this was style1, because that's what we named it, dot CSS, that within quotations, and then we're going to do a right arrow. So we're linking our style sheet, which we named style1.css, to this file. It's going to gather in the DOM and it's going to read our style sheet, which was our style1.css file, and it's going to apply that within our body. So making sure we save our new file, go over and refresh, and you can see that both H1s were changed to the color red because that's what we said within the style sheet. If we were to do another style internally, let me just copy this so I don't have to type it, and we're gonna say H1, we want the color to be blue. And the external style sheet, it read that H1 is the color red. That's the value for color. But then, after that link, we're then changing and saying that the color is going to be blue. After we linked the style sheet, so after it gathered that information, we then changed it internally. So when we save this, H1 is now going to be blue. But if we were to take this new internal style and create it or define it above link, it's saying that H1 is blue and then it's looking at our external file. So because the external file is red last, it's going to change everything to red. So depending on the order you link your style sheet and where you place your internal style, one will take precedence over the other. However, inline is always last to be changed and therefore whatever you use as inline will be displayed in the body. So if we were to change the beginning, welcome to the home page to purple, regardless of whether the internal style was, it's still going to change to purple. And since we move the internal style back below the link, then the second H1 will change to blue. Let's go ahead and delete the internal and the inline styling so that we just have the external. Save and refresh. Be sure if you enjoyed the content to hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel.